Good morning, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for Tuesday. And before I start, I want to quickly introduce a little bit the deck called The Moon and Stars Tarot, because I do not do tarot normally, but I got a deck and I like to incorporate it now and then in my reading. And before I do that though, I think I should explain it a little bit because this deck, this particular one here, incorporates stars into the deck. Like there is the shooting star assigned to the swords and the shooting star is really a small piece of rock or dust called meteor and these meteors they can survive by burning up hitting the earth and then becoming a meteorite so meteorites are the last stage of the existence of space rocks and not to confuse them with meteoroids which are lumps of rock or metal that orbit the sun. There is supernova, which is assigned to the cups of this deck. And supernova is when a star burns through its fuel and then it begins to cool down. And then because outward forces of pressure drop, gravity suddenly takes over and the star collapses in just seconds and this collapse produces an explosion we call supernova there is nebula nebula is assigned to the wands of this deck and nebula is a giant cloud of dust and gas in space. When more than one nebula come from the gas and dust thrown out by the explosion of a dying star, it is called supernova. And nebulae, they are often star forming regions. And finally, there is the full moon. And the full moon is assigned to pentacles of this deck. The full moon is simply the moon moving in its orbit so that our earth is between the moon and the sun. And when we look up in the sky, we do see the full moon. So this was a short explanation of this deck here. And there's some more thing. Supernova is assigned to the cups because, well, emotions, they fuel a large part of our life and they can often cause outbursts similar to a supernova. And the swords, they are related to the shooting stars because when we see a shooting star, we make a wish and shooting stars fall in many different directions, showing decisions to be made. And Mercury is assigned to the swords because Mercury is associated with thinking and communicating. So this explains the swords relating to shooting stars. And the ones representing nebulas, the beginning of a new star, they symbolize new opportunities through creativity and passion. Saturn stands for responsibility and ambition and is assigned to ones. Lastly, pentacles. They are related to the full moon with a pentagram in the middle. The full moon represents blessings and desires through personal hard work and Mars relates to that bringing the needed motivation and sometimes even aggression so that was a short 
run down from the moon and stars tarot and now i think we can begin the reading and this reading here is for cancer good morning cancer i wish you a wonderful day a great week and my friend who is a cancer he gifted me this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card that you see here on this, on my picture here, on my video. This card is a fold-up card and it has hidden little fairies on it. They come out there on the card. You cannot probably see it, but I can see it and I think this card is gorgeous. So that's why I placed it here for cancer on the reading. And now I'm starting. First card that came out for cancer is called Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands relate to invention. And the keywords, they are courage, discovery, and innocence the page he is a free spirited inventor he's unafraid to step out of his comfort zone his or her comfort zone to start a new chapter within the life with a fresh outlook on opportunities and also creative endeavors pages approach the future with enthusiasm and pages of course they can be both male and female like with every card okay so have that in mind only because it's called a page doesn't mean that it couldn't be a female that is relating to this message this card may be the start of a new project or relationship which is full of positive energy and also excitement as a time of discovery is on the horizon you could be traveling soon the moon message here is be flexible and enthusiastic as new opportunities present themselves to you i think that's a wonderful message for cancer and now we come to the next card which is called fool's embrace transmuting pain allowing life to love you and the experience of both and it's written like that both dash and so experience the both and the end the pain of life is sometimes unbearable when we are in it we think that pain that loss that betrayal will always be woven through our continuity of existence we are kept hostage by the way we identify with the pain and what we make it to mean and to us. If we let it, that pain, be powerful, it becomes etched into us like a tattoo. No matter where on the spectrum of pain you find yourself now cancer whether it be a mild disappointment or a big loss it's time to make peace with it befriend it rather than resisting it running from it or judging it as bad or unfair or hostile can you see the gift that is here is the question surrender to the fool's embrace 
allowing the truth to envelop you in love and compassion. What if you could learn something amazing from this whole thing? What is truly yours will not pass you by. Something better and perfect for you is waiting elsewhere. If you could come to terms with the liberation and the freedom inherent in loss, your broken heart might open you up to a greater sense of humanity and compassion. As in the narrative of Tarot, the fool will be at the beginning of your life's adventure and at the end when you are integrated all the wisdom you have accumulated along the journey. The fool he will never let you down or lie to you. He will, however, teach you how to revel in both the beauty and desperation of life. So the both and end, this and that, will always be true. Remember the pearl can be created without the gritty sand causing discomfort and acting as a catalyst as a catalyst in the oyster. Your pearl is discovered in radical acceptance that everything has value. All is well now and will be. Remember that today as you feel the fool's embrace that message remember that today okay and funny cancer that a pearl came up in your reading because pearl is your birthstone and i do love pearls i think they are so so pretty so that's a good that's a good message for you cancer i think this card and finally we come to the fairies oracle card called journey i love my fairies i know some people might be might be thinking what is she doing in her readings with stupid stuff like that but i do love the fairies i think they are cute they bring some lightness to life and some kind of child like thoughts and they can never hurt us so that is the reason why i love my fairies the journey says it's time to prepare for a journey it may be impromptu or planned either way make sure you are ready when the time comes pack your passport now it seems you may be about to embark on a exciting on an exciting journey so start packing your suitcase or backpack right away but remember to travel light so you can easily be spontaneous both with your physical journeys and with the journeys of your heart and being Perhaps this is the right time to set out on an adventure of your own. You never know who you might meet. You may find yourself thinking about relocating or even moving to another country. It's worth signing up to low-cost travel websites to see what bargains appear. Or go back to basics and just stick a pin in a map and travel there. Maybe you know someone who deserves a holiday or a day out. You could take the initiative and invite them to join you on a fun-filled fairy journey. This card may also be telling you that your passport needs to be renewed. The fairy of traveling pictured on this card with a speedy hair 
is telling you to prepare and be ready to take a leap of faith when the moment is right. It's a potentially super exciting time, full of fun, as you venture into the wonderful unknown. It's also a chance to feel truly alive and surrender to your magical destiny, banishing any preconceived plans or expectations. This message may also relate to members of your family who are about to move or go on holiday. However it manifests, the journey is imminent, it might be near or far, or even an inner journey, but the main thing is that you are ready and willing. So, that was your reading, Cancer, thanks for listening, have a great day and goodbye.